Good morning, everyone. Today I have for you another backpackers meal. So I am going to start off showing you. We're going to make a gnocchi. And you're saying, how are you supposed to bring gnocchi on a backpackers trip? Well, first we're going to put all the ingredients in a bag, and then I will show you later on how to take this mixture and turn it into one of the most gourmet meals you're going to make on a backpackers trip. Now. You're going to say, oh, I'm going hiking. Who has time to do, to do this? Well, when you're settling in for the, for the night, trust me, it doesn't take long, and you're going to have plenty of time to make it. So we're going to start off with, um, you're going to need a Ziploc bag. Remember, these bags can always come back home. You can wash them, and you can reuse them again next time. What do I do when I do wash these? Otherwise, they get really nasty. I'll show you. What I do is after they're washed, I simply, uh, for instance, I wash my bag, I simply take a little piece of paper towel and I put it in and it just keeps absorbing all the wet stuff that's in there and it keeps it nice and flat and you're able to pull this out and reuse the bag next time around. And I usually leave the paper in there until I'm ready to reuse my baggie again so we don't have to throw this out. Uh, I know it's, uh, I mean, you can start bringing jars, but jars weigh a lot of, uh, weigh a lot. What you can do maybe is uh, use paper bags, but with all the mixing into your bag, when you're going backpacking, uh, you're always in and out of your bag, that paper bag might break, and then you're going to have a mess inside your bag. So your best bet is to get uh, some Ziploc bags for, for, this, for this purpose. Okay, so we're going to start off with, okay, so gnocchis are very simple. They're made basically of two ingredients, which is, well, vegan gnocchis anyhow, because you can actually put egg in this, but because we're vegan, we are not going to touch the eggs. Eggs are for the chickens. They're not for us. So we're going to start off with half a cup of flour, and you could always um, double, triple, this is good for one person, I would say, um, or if you're not a very big eater, you can share it. But when you've done a whole day of trekking and hiking, uh, this will be good for one person, trust me. And you're going to say, how in tarnation are you going to make this without having to mess up? It's just a mess to make gnocchis. Well, it's really not messy at all. Trust me, it's very, very easy. So we're going to start off with half a cup of flour. I'm using all-purpose flour here, and it's unbleached organic flour. Use whole wheat. It's really up to you. It's, you'll have a little more of the bits in there, which is the skin of the, uh, of the wheat. If you're okay with that, go ahead and use it. When I make an, a gnocchi, I like to see a gnocchi. I don't want to see any skins in it. But, yeah, you can use whatever flour you want. So I'm using half a cup of unbleached all-purpose and it's organic flour to this we're gonna add you ready some potato flakes now you can pick this up anywhere the only thing is if you get them with the out of the boxes you got to be careful because sometimes they have milk in it and you don't want to do that so we're going to use uh, three quarters so I am going to use a half plus a quarter so here's a half a cup of potato flakes plus a quarter. That's going to give me my three quarter. Now, when you make gnocchis, if you have a lot of flour in your gnocchi, you're going to have rocks. You want to have a very light gnocchi. You do not want to eat very thick, heavy dumplings that you can't even swallow. So the trick is always less flour. So that is basically what you need along with some salt salt is really up to you how much you want to use I'm going to use maybe uh, I say about a half a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon but again it really is up to you how much salt you want to put and to this we're going to put a little dry sack so I'm just going to give this a mix you want to make sure it's all nice and mixed. Now this is for one person. Remember guys, I'm just showing you a video how to make it. But if I would be making this to go hiking um, or even have them prepared, this is a great thing to have prepared. 
at home. So if you want to make gnocchis, anytime you want to make it, I mean, it's better if you're using fresh potatoes. I'm talking instant stuff, okay? These are called uh, prepper meals. They're called backpacker meals. They're called hiking meals, camping meals. But it's always good to have at home because sometimes you're, you know, two minutes. So like, what am I going to eat? Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to grab one of these bags. Just add some water to this. And guess what? You've got a gourmet meal just by putting some water into this mixture. Um, like I said, you can't compare it to the gnocchis that you're going to make from scratch at home with fresh potatoes. But it is what it is. We are using instant potatoes for this reason. Um, you could also take um, sweet potatoes and you can actually... Uh, cook the sweet potato and then dehydrate it and turn it into a uh, flour and you can use that instead of white potato that'll give you a different type of gnocchi a very delicious type of gnocchi so you can also use sweet potato if you want but you have to turn it into a powder form or into a flake um, so your best bet is to turn it into a powder form so cook your potatoes then spread them mash them up spread them on a tray in uh, your dehydrator and then once that's dry you can turn it into a powder and you can use that instead of uh, the uh, the flakes the white flakes the only thing is that you have to be careful when you're using a powder form because powder is more is more than a flake so you're gonna have to play around with your ratios but we have flakes here and that's what we're using and uh, like I said, if you notice, there's more potato than there is flour. Otherwise, you're going to have a very, very dense, dense gnocchi. And that's not what you want. Your gnocchi has to be fluffy. You call them heaven puffs. And again, since we're keeping storage, you take one of these dry, dry sacks and it goes right into your pack. You just have to remember that when you are adding ingredients to this bag later on, that you remove that dry pack. So this is step one, guys. Now, I'm on my way out, but when I come back, I am gonna show you how to take this and turn it into a meal while you're backpacking. Is it closed? Yes, yeah, closed. Try and get as much air out of it as you can because air is our enemy when we're storing food, when we're storing anything. You wanna get the air out. So there we are, and we have it ready for later on. Gnocchi is a heavy, a heavy dish, so it will satisfy you, especially after a long day of hiking. If you've been hiking like for 20, uh, 20 miles, you will want, uh, you would want a nice meal like this. It's just going to hit the spot. So very easy to do. So I'm going to show you later on. Okay, one more thing I forgot. Uh, how are we going to dress these? Now this basically, you're going to have a little bottle of olive oil for later on. Um, you can dry some uh, fresh uh, basil leaves. You can dry those and you can put them in a separate little pouch that we're going to insert right in there so we won't lose it. So in here, we're going to add some nutritional yeast. And like I said, this really is up to you how you want to... Uh, how you want to dress your your gnocchis. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of nutritional yeast in this bag. And with that, I'm gonna put some of my grated cheese. There we go. You might not even need all of that, but you could always use some of it, and then the rest you can use in another meal that you make. I'm not measuring, I'm just putting it together. That's how I normally do. And like I said, if I have a little extra left of this, it's not a problem for me. What I do is use what I need to dress my gnocchi. And if I have anything left, if I'm making a chili or something that I'm bringing with me, I could always use this on top of it. And it's super delicious. Grab a dry sack. You are storing it away. And it goes into, there we go, in there. We could also put a little bit of parsley. Did I do that? Sorry. You could either put parsley or basil that you dry up. Again, like I said, you only need a little bit of that. And you're ready to make some gnocchi at your campfire. 
There we go. So this is ready for us to season our gnocchi later on. There we go. Now, you can keep them like this, or you can take this, and it could go into your other pouch. It really is up to you how you want to store your stuff away. You can keep these separate, or you can put it directly in with your meal so you know that that belongs to that dish. Here we go. So, I am going to go out, and when I come back, I'm going to show you how I make my gnocchis, guys. Okay, we're back. Here is my little package where I have my gnocchi mix. I also wrote down um, exactly how much water we want to use in here. And there's my seasoning pack that we're going to use at the end when we're seasoning our gnocchi. Now, if you want to make a gnocchi with sauce, then you would have to you would have to dehydrate your sauce and then you have to kind of bring that back to life and mix it with your gnocchi. And all of this is vegan, guys. The potatoes have no traces of milk in it. So it is cruelty-free. And the best part is that it's gonna just satisfy you, especially after that long day and a long day of hiking. Now remember, uh, this can also be prepper meals. A lot of people don't have time to do things and they have teenage kids at home that are hungry and the parents are out working. So these things could be ready for them and all they have to do is follow the instructions that's on that little piece of paper. And guess what? They have either a snack meal or they can prepare themselves a meal. Really not that hard. So here we go. Uh, according, um, according to the amount that we have in here, we're going to add three quarter cups of water uh, plus. Okay, because you want this to be a soft gnocchi. You don't want this to be bullets under your teeth. So out comes our paper. And here's our dry sack. Do not get rid of this. This is still uh, usable. So we put that aside. And here's our mixture. So in here we have potato flour and salt so we're gonna add three quarter cups plus of water now you can even add a little bit of oil if you want but I rather do it without the oil because we're adding oil later okay so I've got less than a cup here but I'm not gonna use it all I'm gonna use a little bit at a time and we're gonna mix this so you're gonna pretend I have my spork okay we're going to add about three quarter cups. I'm going to put this aside and if I need it, I will add more. So now what you could do is just close this and massage it. Get the air out of it. And you could just massage it. And the best part is if you know you're making this for uh, dinner, got to get that air out. If you know that you're going to make this for dinner, you could actually add the water while you're traveling. Yeah, obviously need more than three quarter because I'm never precise when I measure stuff. There we go. So I will add the plus, like I told you, it's three quarter plus. You know what, I'm going to add it all. Just a little under a cup. And that should be more than enough. Now, like I said, you could either mix it by hand, uh, sorry, with a spoon, or you could get the air out, like I'm doing right here. And you can just massage your dumpling mixture. And like I said, you can start uh, knowing that you're going to prepare this ahead of time. Uh, come the morning, you could already mix this for yourself, and you could... Leave it in your backpack so when you're ready and you get to your campsite, this stuff is going to be ready for you. Remember, gnocchi also, the more you play with it, the firmer the gnocchi is going to get. So you don't want rocks under your teeth. You want delicious gnocchis for your meal. So air comes out. Throw this in your backpack and when dinner comes around, it's absorbed all the moisture and you're going to be able to make yourself some fast gnocchi. There's going to be places where the flour is not completely 
absorbed, but that's okay. Now, because I am not going to roll this out, uh, normally when you make gnocchi, you make up like these rolls and you're going to roll, you're going to cut and you're going to roll them out. I mean, you can still do it. You're going to roll it out by hand. Uh, you can still do it that way, but I really make my life easy because if we're going to be backpacking, I really don't want to roll my gnocchi. So what I do is I make a flat, there we go. I make it nice and flat, and like I said, this goes back into your backpack for when you're ready to make these gnocchis. Just get all the air out. There we go. So this goes back into your backpack. When you're ready, we're going to make gnocchis. So I'm going to let this sit for a while, and then guess what? I'm going to see you in a little bit, and we're going to make some gnocchis and show you how simple it is and how delicious they really are. So what do we have in here? We have flour, potatoes, and we have a little bit of salt. You can get creative if you want. If you want to make them a little gourmet, what you could do is maybe take some sun-dried tomatoes and you can kind of chop them up really, really fine in little, little bits. You can mix that in with your potato and uh, flour mixture. Uh, you can take some dry herbs. You can mix that with your flour mixture. Uh, you can take uh, dehydrated chives. You can mix that with your flour mixture. So when you add the water, it all mixes in and you're going to get gourmet gnocchi. Remember, the more you mix this, the more you mix this, the tougher your gnocchi is going to be. So you want this to uh, basically uh, be a nice tender gnocchi. So don't over knead it, uh, but make sure that most of the ingredients are mixed. And if not, while you're backpacking, a lot of this stuff will pick up the moisture and it's going to be perfect for you. We will use our plastic to cut our gnocchis. And remember, you could always bring that plastic home and reuse it or recycle it, guys. Do not throw this into the woods. That is a no-no. Like I said, it would be great if we could put all of this in paper bags. But with all the mixing we do, going in and out of our bags, we will probably break those bags and it will be just a problem. What you can do is not to dirty your bag, but you still have to mix it. So you have to have some kind of plastic, unfortunately. Anything that you're going to use for camping, unfortunately, you uh, unless you put everything in tins, but how are you going to carry all that stuff on your backpack? It's going to be almost impossible. But what I do is I do wash them. I showed you after it's washed, I slip a piece of paper in there, paper towel. It helps absorb a lot of the moisture. It won't be a shiny, clear, clear bag anymore, but they're still reusable. And you can reuse them for a very long time, as long as you don't cut through them. We will cut over this bag. Uh, and if you do damage it, you could either put a piece of clear tape over it and still reuse the bag uh, when you need to, or you can simply put it to get recycled after it's washed. So we'll see you in a little bit and we're going to get these gnocchis done. Okay guys, so my daughter has all her camping gear packed so I'm not going to bother pulling it out to show you. Uh, normally this would be on your either uh, gas, uh, the propane tank, but you'd have your pot on there already starting to boil because these really don't take long to do. So um, You'll have this already boiling, so I'm going to do that now and put it on my stove because I don't have uh, my daughter's uh, camping stuff is all packed away. Um, so I am going to pull it out. I'm wearing a glove because I do have a cut on my hand. I'll try and pull it out without breaking it, which sometimes is almost impossible. Especially if there's way too much water. Okay, so here we are. We have our dough, our potato dumpling dough. And we are going to shape it. Because right now we're not going to start rolling it out the way you would normally roll out. Let me just wash my hand. Okay, so here we go. We're not going to roll it out the way we would normally roll out uh, gnocchis. So we're just going to make the perfect, as perfect as we can make it. There we go. Like I said, 
if you have the place to do it and you do want to roll it out, by all means, go ahead and roll it out. But if you want to make something fast and not fuss around with it, because the whole idea is the taste, not, not how it looks, really. Okay, like I said, it really doesn't... You could even use the back of this. If you're okay with getting it dirty, just place it on top and then flatten it out. Or you could use a little bit of your hands, just wet them a little bit, and we're going to make these beautiful gnocchis. So I am going to take, you shall pretend this is my knife that I'm carrying with me, because everything is packed, guys. My daughter is going away before me. She's going away with a friend. So she's got her gear all packed and ready to go. Okay, so basically you want to just make cuts down the bottom, right down to the bottom. Like this. Now, if you're okay with rolling, you could even do that. Okay, and don't forget to salt your water. Now, like I said, I'm not using the little camp stove to show you I am just simply using uh, my stove but remember if you do um, if you do these you should already have your um, stove with water and it should already be the best serve should already be boiling Now, if you really want to get fancy, you could kind of roll them with your hands. When I make gnocchis, I usually cut the gnocchis in angles. So, you can simply roll it if you want, like this, on your plastic, the best you can, because you don't have the, the best surface to make gnocchis, right? And we're going to just cut them in shapes like gnocchis. You could also, if you want, you could make imprints on them. It's up to you. Okay, another thing that we do is when we go uh, hiking, we do keep uh, some of this paper handy in a little Ziploc. And I'll tell you why. Because this way, when you're making things like gnocchi, uh, you could simply just drop it right on top of the paper. This could be on the ground in front of you and you won't get any dirt on it. Remember, they're not going to be the prettiest gnocchis because you really don't have the place to uh, roll your gnocchi like if you were doing them at home. But the best part is that they're good and that's what's important, right? So here's our gnocchi. This paper is on our floor, so we're really... Oh, this one came off one, eh? Okay, I'll push this aside and I'll use it with maybe that piece there. Okay, here we go, roll, remember, not the best looking gnocchis, but they're going to be delicious. Basically what a, what a gnocchi is, it's a dumpling guys. You could also, if you have your spork, I'll show you. If you have your spork, you could also make like little indents. Uh, usually you see this when you buy, um, when you get the uh, gnocchis that you buy at the store. Uh, when we make homemade ones, we really don't bother. But if you want to get fancy and put some uh, spork grooves on it, you could do that. Here we go. Just roll it up. And remember, when you've had this sitting, which I didn't have a chance to because Eric is hungry, uh, when you have this sitting in your backpack, these potatoes and flour is going to pick up all the moisture and it's just going to be a nice firmer dough for you to work with. Try and get them as even as you can. Yeah. 
There you go. Remember, you're doing this all on the uh, on the ground. So who says you can't have a nice gourmet gourmet meal when you go hiking, camping, or backpacking? And especially when you make these dumplings, they're so satisfying. It just hits the spot, especially when you're hungry and you've been walking a long, long time. It's just a perfect meal to just satisfy you. Now normally when you're at home and you're making gnocchi, you've got like a floured counter. So it picks up a little flour and they're gonna be a little smoother. But once you cook these, they're gonna kind of look a little smooth too. Yeah. Remember, get them to look as pretty as you can. I'm more worried about how it tastes rather than what they look like. Put this aside. We'll use that later. So I'm going to keep cutting these gnocchis. So because we don't have the flour, I mean you could bring extra flour if you really want to. Because we don't have the extra flour, this plastic works great because it just helps. Try not to cut the plastic so you can reuse it. Uh, today I am using the sauce for Erica, but it's fresh sauce. It's not dehydrated sauce because she wants it with sauce, but otherwise you can just Drizzle a little bit of olive oil, some of your nut, um, nut cheese, and nutritional yeast, and you're going to make a perfect gnocchi. Okay, so we're going to drop this in the water that... Okay, so I'm using, like I said, I'm using my kitchen stove, but normally you would already have this water going. Now, if you want, you could bring a little bit of flour with you and uh, use that when you're rolling out your gnocchis. But like I said, that would be more if you are doing a camping trip rather than a hiking trip because when you're on a hike you really don't want to mess around with that you just want to get these things cooked and into your belly so just slowly move around okay so i have all my gnocchis in and the trick of the gnocchi is uh, as soon as they come up on your water they're cooked so you do need to have something to put them in. Here we go. I'm going to use my cast iron pan. And I am going to put a little bit of olive oil. Get yourself a little bottle so you can bring it with you. As you can tell, they are all starting to come up. Like I said, they're not the most beautiful looking gnocchis. But they're going to do the trick, guys. We're doing hiking gnocchis. We're not doing homemade gnocchis where everything is just perfect. At least you get uh, to have delicious gnocchis while you're while you're camping. So that's what they look like, and they've already come up. So these are ready. So we're gonna pull these out. And because my daughter rather has sauce, but normally what I would do is I would put them in. I'm gonna show you. There we go. There we go. A little extra oil. I would take my nutritional yeast and I would sprinkle it on top and there is your your dinner guys. Really really good. So that's how simple it is to make gnocchis while you're hiking. Um, if you want to make these with um, uh, with sauce, you would have to have your sauce dehydrated and then rehydrate your sauce. So there you go, guys. Hiking gnocchi. Simple, easy, not hard to do. And guess what, guys? I'm going to see you in my next video. I have another meal for you that you're going to enjoy. And I'll see you then.
Okay, guys, I'm going to dehydrate some sauce because I am preparing more bags to bring with us for our gnocchi. And it's just that simple. You take your sauce and you're going to spread it over your dehydrating sheet. And this won't take long. It's just going to get all nice. Look at that. Simple, simple, guys. This is really simple. And the best part is when you're dehydrating sauce. You have a couple of... I don't want to leave the carrots there because those are going to take a long time to dehydrate. So I will pull out the... Uh... There we go. I will pull out the carrots and the mushrooms because I want this to... I'll just put that in my mouth. Very simple. Our trip is a short one. So this is enough for me and Erica. There we go. Into the dehydrator till it just dries up completely. And then all you have to do is add some water. And guess what? You have instant sauce. And remember, I always dehydrate at 115 or 118. I find it uh, the best way to dehydrate anything in any dehydrator. So there you go, into the oven, my oven. And we are making some delicious sauce to bring when we make our gnocchis on our hiking trip. And don't forget, a little bit of olive oil in a little bottle. And you can use this for any type of cooking you're doing. If you want to fry something, if you want to add it to any dish, especially for hikers, especially people that are not heavy, they need a lot of calories, especially if they're hiking for a long time. And olive oil seems to be the great way to add, it's a great way to add some calories to your meal. And yeah. Very easy. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.